Hey, my name is Alin, I'm an electrical engineering consultant at WSCAD and in this last video we will be talking about fully automating your projects. So much so that you won't even have to open the WSCAD suite in order to create them. Does this sound extremely hard to achieve or even impossible? Well it isn't and let me show you why. In the last video I showed you the project wizard and how it can turn individual macros into full projects. If you haven't seen that video yet, make sure to check it out first. Well, there is a secret to the project wizard I haven't told you about. And that secret is that your configuration can be saved as an XML file. For those of you who don't know what that is, it is basically a structured text file. And if you look at the XML file and the project wizard side by side, you will notice that each macro in the project wizard is a block of text in the XML file. This means we can manipulate the text, import the XML back in the project wizard, and it will save our changes. So now, when we generate the pages, it will have our desired result. Now, why does this matter? Well, I suspected that the moment I mentioned something about an XML file, some of you were thinking, wait, I can work with and create XML files myself. And you're right. XML files are very easy to generate using any programming language. So no matter if you have an ERP system or an external configurator or even an Excel sheet with a list of motors, those can be used to generate your XML files to be fed to the project wizard. To give you an example, I have built an Excel tool that can configure all the options of our example project. Under the hood, there is a Visual Basic code I have written to generate my XML file. When the file is created, it is then fed to the project wizard, which can then create the project from scratch and generate the necessary pages. Now, here is the Excel tool I have built. It's very simple in its form. I can put a project name in here the number of the conveyor belts and what kind of drive type do I have? Is it only forward? Does it also move in reverse and so on? And then uh, how many uh, label makers each individual uh, conveyor belt has? Now, when I'm creating my project, I'm just going to wait for a little bit. Now you see the project appeared in my project explorer and I can have a look at uh, my project just the way I have created it. Now for the next part, let's just close the WSCAD suite altogether. The reason I did this is because the automation interface can do way more than just create projects and generate pages. It can, among other things, also generate full reports and export to PDF. And these last two functions are built into the configurator as well. Let's just configure a new installation. And this time, check the open PDF box. You will see, without even opening the suite, the project was created, the bill of materials was sent to the ERP system, and now I have a PDF of the project before me. How fast is that for a change? Now you have time to do a lot more than you did before. And this is the main goal of WSCAD to take away the boring routine and offer you the chance 
to do what you do best, create and innovate. Thank you for watching and to our customers who already benefit from our solutions, thank you for your trust. Bye bye.